Roy Hardnove, Inner Circles, a new band, a new group, uh, a new concept, a new strategy. What? Yeah, well, the uh, the group itself is co comprised of uh, the members of my regular working band, uh, plus a couple of special guests, and those people are uh, Jesse Davis and Christian McBride. Um, these are uh, good friends of mine that I have worked with many times in the past, um, especially uh, Christian, uh, who was in my first um, working quintet. And the music um, that we're playing is yeah. is a tribute, you know, to my immediate family and my uh, musical family, which is from the new CD, which is called Family. <laughs> But now your new new group, Blake is with it, uh, Scott is there, still the old members. But yes. playing a new kind of music. Yes. Oh, well, uh, of course, it's a, a different sound than uh, than. Uh, than what people are used to hearing in my regular band, you know, because there's a, that added horn, that uh, extra horn there with uh, Jesse Davis. So uh, we can expand into like some more, uh, some more different things as far as arrangements are concerned. Uh, do you owe something to the North Sea Jazz Festival? I mean, you were 17 years old when you appeared here for the very first time as a youngster, very shy indeed. Yes, I, re I remember that. Uh, 1987. Yeah, 87. I remember that, that actually Paul Ackett was the cat who um, made it possible for me to uh, come to the North Sea. And it was my first time ever going outside of Texas, you know. Start of a big career. Yes, yes. Uh, your, your playing is traditional, but your, your playing is very fresh as well. Is it very, very difficult to, to come on that point? Well, I believe that... Um, You should always be very open-minded when it comes to music, and uh, I listen to uh, a lot, quite a, quite a few recordings that are from uh, the history of jazz. At the same time, I'm very open to uh, new ideas as well. You know, I feel uh, that the key to to being fresh, with this, you know, as far as what you're playing, is to keep an open mind and to um, always strive to to make music that people can feel you've got a great uh, appreciation to the older people who learned you the music uh, the battle of the tenors the, the world of the tenors your cd for instance mm -hmm. um well that actually was a, a project that i did you mean, you're talking about the project that i did with um joe henderson yeah, yeah, with stanley turrentine Well, I had a good time doing Johnny that. Johnny Griffin and, and so on. Johnny Griffin and who else is it? Branford Marcellus and Joshua Redman. Yeah. Uh, But you pay tribute, in fact, to the older people. Yes. Uh, I believe that these are the people that have always been working out there doing, yeah. hitting. Um, the first time you heard someone improvise, that was at school, and that was David mm -hmm. Fathead Newman. Uh, that must be... Uh, Yeah, one of your fondest musical uh, recollections. Actually, you know, that, that was one of the first people that I heard improvise. Um, David Fathead Newman was a cat uh, who was a local musician from Dallas. Uh, was also a good friend of my band director who uh, would encourage cats like him to come over to school and uh, teach the kids or just play for them, you know. And, and for me, that, that was a very memorable experience. It was the start of your improvisations as well. You were amazed. It was, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're very uh, religious, aren't you? I believe in God. I believe in the higher power. I believe that that's what makes the music possible. Yeah. But since you were born in Waco, Texas, uh, you don't have anything to do with the group? Uh, was well, actually, I, you know, I was born in the hospital in Waco, Texas, but I spent most of my life in a, a place called Mart, Texas, which is just outside of Waco. And uh, around the time I was eight years old, I moved to Dallas, and that's where I stayed yeah. until uh, I went off to school. Yeah, yeah. So nothing to do with that religious group. <laughs> no. Well, uh, next time you will be here again on the North Sea Jazz Festival, uh, mm -hmm. Roy. Yeah. Glad to see and to hear you then again. Oh, it's good to be here, always. Thank you very much indeed. Okay.